It's 94 degrees in the shop. I think it's time to cool it down. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So, I'm coming to you from behind the uh, this massive box. And what this is, is this is a do-it-yourself Mr. Cool 18,000 BTU uh, mini split. Um, so the lines are already charged. Uh, don't need a an AC tech to install this. Um, you may need an electrical person. This is a 220 unit. Um, uh, I have some electrical experience, but I'm not an electrician by no means, but I was pretty comfortable uh, doing uh, this and I'll get more into that in a little bit. Uh, but do check with uh, your uh, your local codes and all of that uh, rigmarole um, to make sure that you're safe, most important thing. But anyway, so we're going to install this in uh, my garage and hopefully get the temperature down below 94. So that is 94 at nine o'clock in the morning and by the afternoon it usually gets up to about 98. So little toasty in the garage and um, it's time to do something about that. So let's get started. All right, so I just want to give you a tour of where things are going and what the situation is like. So this is the outdoor unit. I have just got it set on some pavers. The electrical still hasn't been run to the unit, but here is a, a disconnect. And I'll put parts to this um, down in the description. So this is a 20 amp um, because that's what's required by this 18,000 BTU unit. And it's just a, an AC disconnect. Okay, so let's, let's move inside. So this is the, the blower air handler. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but that is going to be going up here. That's about over where that outside unit is. I've got to take that shelf down and there's a template that goes up. And uh, so you'll see all of that. So just wanted to kind of give you an overview. And oh, the electrical circuit is this run here. It goes outside, it goes up, over and down. And then I've got a 230 uh, or 240 outlet there um, that I'm just going to connect it in for now until I can get an electrician out to punch it through the wall there. The circuit panel is on the other side of that. So uh, that's kind of a, a general tour of what we're going to be doing. So now let's, uh, let's get started. So what we've got to do now is put our template up. And uh, so just gonna do that. I've got a center punch. Just gonna line it up with this vent. I'm just gonna put my level on it and that's level. So I'm going to just uh, use my center punch and hopefully go through there. I've got um, a stud lined up. Probably should find out because I wanna be able to, uh, only got one stud location here. So that's what I'm trying to line it up to be able to get one, one in the stud. Okay, that should line up pretty well. Make sure we're level here again. Okay, then I'm just gonna mark a bunch of spots. I may or may not use all of them. And we can't forget our, I know you can't see this because I'm blocking it, but I'll show you here in a minute. But we've got our three and a half inch hole that we have to run for the refrigerant lines. I think that should do, let's see, yeah. All right, I can see all my spots, okay. So now we're just going to, um, see where uh, we want to put our screws and uh, we'll do that and I'll come back. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to drill the three and a half inch hole that is where all the line sets are going to pass through. 
I don't have a drill bit that's long enough to go all the way through the wall, but what I've got is just a long drill bit that I'll use to go through the wall and then be able to locate on the other side. Um, so we've got hit here. It's just gonna go through, try to be level. Okay. And now let me get the three and a half inch hole saw. Okay, kids, don't do this at home. So I've got it just about all the way through, but <sighs> dummy me, those hole saws aren't meant to go through concrete. So it should just be a little bit here. So I'm just gonna try to crack through it since I've got it pretty much most of the way done. Okay, so there's just some uh, chicken wire in there. I'm gonna cut off and uh, I think that'll get it. All right, there we go. So, so the line sets are gonna come out here. This is just a, a separate device that it, I purchased separately that is going to cover up the line set going down the wall. They'll eventually paint this to be the same color as the house. Okay, so I've got all of the uh, outside things done. It's extremely hot and extremely bright. So I'll take you guys out later before I wrap the video up just to show you kind of what it looks like outside. I'm gonna skip the electrical part uh, only because you really should consult an electrician um, to make sure that you're doing what you need to or do it at your own risk. I, I don't wanna be blamed if you do something wrong. So I'm not gonna show you the electrical piece of it. Search the web and anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and flip the circuit breaker. Hopefully I got everything hooked up right. Um, if you see sparks, you'll probably see spark sparks for a while as I go to run the turn the circuit breaker off. So let's, uh, let's get the circuit breaker on. And let's hit the on off button. Okay, so it didn't come on. Okay, so let's try this again. I had the disconnect off outside, which good, it's doing its job. All right, let's hit the circuit breaker again. And she's on. Or at least she's got power. And there she comes. It takes just a second to come on. 
Oh, that beautiful cold air. I love it. Let's see. 76 is a little too cold. So let's put it to 79. So we'll check back in a little bit and see uh, how long it takes to cold or chill it. It has been running for a few hours now. Um, we started out at 99 and that was around, I, I think it was 2.30, 20, sometime between two and three. And now it is uh, just a little bit before 6.30. So what's that, roughly three hours and it's dropped at 10 degrees. Now keep an eye in mind that I don't have proper insulation in the walls and in the ceiling above my garage. They typically don't do that, at least here in North America. But it's okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, it's not like it's gonna be running all the time, only really when I'm out here. So let me take you outside and show you um, what it looks like. Um, now keep in mind, it's not completely finished yet, but I think it's done enough for the video. Uh, but anyway, let me take you outside. You have to forgive the, uh, the background noise. Uh, it's a little bit windy here in Phoenix tonight and my other ACs are running, which is pretty neat. You can't even hear this uh, Mr. Cool. But anyway, so here it is. Um, I still have to wrap up the, uh, the line set here and put this last cover on and then finally just um, run the drain hose. And uh, let's just push this out a little bit further so it can drain. So uh, anyway, so that's what we've got to do with that. Um, and just uh, the, paint the cover and then paint the, uh, the disconnect. And again, I have to fix this and push that back up in there. But all things that can be done. And uh, so this is the, uh, the basic setup. Um, I did add some foam um, insulation to the ends of these connectors because it did have exposed copper and you know that's uh, a little bit of a, a loss from what I understand um, so you want to keep these lines insulated. So you know one more task that is going to be required is I think I need to move it back from the the wall a little bit further so I'm gonna add an extra paver out here um, to make it you know give it a little bit more room it's supposed to be 12 inches from the wall so that is the outside uh, let me take you back inside that's going to wrap up today's project while it wasn't a woodworking project I, I hope it was beneficial to someone out there that may be looking for uh, you know, a DIY way to uh, add a mini split to their, their workshop or their garage or even a basement. Uh, it doesn't have to be a workshop. But anyway, um, it was pretty simple to, to install um, and it's doing a, a fairly decent job on cooling down the space. Uh, again, like I said earlier, uh, I don't have any insulation in the ceiling or in the walls. If you want to see other projects and videos that I've done, click right here. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to become a subscriber, click up here and click that uh, bell so that you're notified when I upload a new project. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.